Anyway, great. So I'm going to drop these links there, lads. Um, and I will do the intro. Do you want us to be thing. topless for this? Like like you originally said, Jonathan? No, 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 that, not that. no, 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 Dennis, no, no, that was for sure. comics. Yeah, yeah, no, that was for comics. Okay, sorry. Yeah, okay. no, we weren't getting enough clicks on them, so we needed to, you know, hit the thumbnails harder. You, you look, you, you ask me quite a bit to be topless, and I just get confused sometimes. I understand that. I understand that, Dennis. But like, which, you have to, you have just, to understand. Like, it, no. it's a very so, different ballpark when we're talking about white okay. wings. Then, right? Look, comics. click recording. No. Click recording. Let's go. We've been recording for the last minute, Dennis. This is all going out. Oh, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> just well, folks, it's just so. you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, folks, welcome back to uh, That's a Lie here on the Nerds Are Us channel. Uh, we are still watching Beyond Belief Factor Fiction, but we have not moved on to season four as advertised. Indeed, uh, the uh, winning streak has to have a more defined challenger, and to do that, our friend Foxy is in boot camp. And nothing says boot camp like going back to watch the episodes I've already watched with Amy. And what if he literally fucks up this episode? Then then your whole, whole idea is gone. <laughs> yeah, we, we're, we scrapped the entire thing. And Amy automatically <laughs> wins, and there is no encore. We're done. You've actually, not only that, if you do get one down, <laughs> if the one wrong, you've officially let down Jonathan Frakes himself. We'll get a cameo of him crying, <laughs> and we will send it to you. <laughs> and I, like the way, your, I like the way you think Jonathan Frakes has the acting ability to cry on command. Absolutely. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of tempted to lose now, just so I can get yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Did you not hear a story? There's, like, there's, there's a genuine story. I don't know if you remember. Uh, uh, it was when um, like Patrick Stewart was on set for the first season, and basically this was an, like, an actual like thespian amongst other people that were also actors, but also uh. but mostly comedic actors like Brent Spiner and, and so forth, and then like newbies like Michael Dorn, and. And essentially, like they were just such a like ready bunch, they never got any shit in. Basically, they just took, just took so many takes to get all their scenes in, and they like apparently Patrick Stewart just like flipped out and went like, "Oh, these are the most unprofessional people I've ever heard." And he goes on this like massive like three minute rant. We need to be more professional. We need to be more serious and take this show seriously and shit like this. And immediately, the first thing that John Frakes does was ball out crying, like being okay. all dramatic <laughs> and like properly like full on crying. I was just like, "Well, that's not fucking. If that's not acting for you, I don't know what it is." <laughs> He don't I don't think that's act- I, I don't think that's acting. I think he had his feelings hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? that? Why are you shouting at me? <laughs> Why would you say that? You you poop. You poop. <laughs> <laughs> they are both cracking impressions of Commander Riker, by the way, when he's in a highly emotional state. But um, but yes. Yeah, so like I, I like to think, was that was that by any chance? Was that was that from Hot Rod? No. Ooh. Guess again. I feel I know what it is. Oh, yes, and you I, do. I even know the actor. I can see the actor doing it, and I can't remember the fucking thing. What was it? You know, I'm kind of a big deal here. Uh, oh. Why don't you go back to your on. island on the whore island? <laughs> <laughs> you lemon stealing whore. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep throwing whores at Dennis. Get whore. <laughs> the word whore features a lot in our, in it our does, shows. It? it really does. Uh, I mean, I, uh, I don't some kind of whore. whore. <laughs> some kind of whore. Anyway, so we have, uh, as I said, we've gone back to the start of season two. I, I will not be taking part in the uh, production, predictions. I will just be here as a simple banterweight. Uh, as Foxy <laughs> keeps... Foxy has horse in the mind. Of mind of <laughs> yeah. So, so Dennis, it is your job to ruin Foxy's day and try and take uh, his hot streak from him. But, uh, but Foxy, for you, it's to, it's to go six and zero oh, to see if you can. You okay there, Foxy? Well, no. We can both win. We can both win this. Let's let's go into this as a team, Foxy. We can do this. We can do this. So you are you drag him down. Power, power to the people. Boom. Yeah. There you go. Right. We anyway, the so. Um, if people want to watch along with us, by all means, links are down below in the description. Uh, yep. Make sure you check it out and see if you can tell if it is fact or fiction. If you're acting like me, you'll fuck it up. Uh, but for now, I reckon we go ahead. What do you think? I think we should get on. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So uh, I'll do the honors for this one, I suppose. Go for it. Yeah, man. And we go three, two, one, 
go. Now, I don't want to alarm you. There is going to be a slightly different Riker than what you used to. Just just watch. Oh, he better not be clean shaven. No, not quite. Not I this can time. see the fear in Foxy's eyes. What the fuck? Ooh, what? yes. Uh, it's tan uh, jacket frames. Ooh. A rare shiny type of Riker. <laughs> tan jacket and not slick back. Yes. No, he, I was thinking his hair is very fiction. normal. Yeah. Mm. This is before he gave a shit about the program. <laughs> before the producer asked him to be a bit more Riker. I have an image to uphold, don't you know? It's a Sonic. Well, I've done a couple of episodes of, uh, of this show, and I have enough, Jonathan. No. Fetch my black suit. Time to go full. Riker. Like, it needs. Man, it, I used to. Th there's two shows I used to watch all the time with my dad growing up. It was this, this and Unsolved Mysteries. For a mm. Which is also on this channel, by the way. As a fashionable young lady. And some of us see it. They bought up the right story. That's a very, very famous. So which is it? Mm. Younger uh, or is it both? Painting, yeah. Tonight, we will be at I've seen a naughtier version. Others will be totally fabricated by a writer. Of course, illusion. Yeah. At the end of the show, well, did it happen to be an optical time. illusion horror? Warned, the difference between fact and fact. <laughs> did it happen <laughs> to be a lemon steel horror? If you looked at it one way, it was a lemon. If you looked at it another way, it was a whore. Of American heroes, ever since the Wright brothers. That mannequin looks like um Thai. What's his name? It's the image of one modern family. Brains, skills, oh yeah, I know the I know the one. Not the guy talking about. He's Phil in Modern Family. Yes. Michael Raider's father. Ty Day or Ty? No. No, not Ty Dillinger. No. No, it's not. He was once his son's hero, his mentor, his. He's protector. dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead to most people. <laughs> I mean, he might as well be. <laughs> That's harsh, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I retract that. That was that was harsh. Worse than death. That was really harsh. <laughs> The plane. The plane. I'm going to land the plane. Look at me, I'm landing the plane. Is this going to crash or something? I think it's a bit late now, for that. Foxy. It's on the ground. Now, Foxy, how on earth about a, a story about a plane <laughs> do you think it's going to crash? Is it going to magically take off on its own and crash? I, again, I've seen this episode. I couldn't possibly come. That is within the realm of possibility. Ooh, aviators. I love aviators. Love me a good pair of aviators. Hmm. Oh look, his I'm fella. To top gun. It's a picture of his fella. It's his goose. It was a regular da. For my dad in the old days. Fella, da, same thing. Stop. Oh, shit. Trip that wasn't destined. In, oh, cer in, in certain states. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no, it's leaking iron brew. As I walked up to Somebody the stop it. Shop, a lot of and you. I've known Roger since I was a little boy, so when he asked me if I would deliver... It was well that, like, um, that Skip Holm appeared on the on the titles there when he was skipping up the stairs, as if there was, like, a special technique. <laughs> Skip Holm. They just timed it so well. Did he, like, buy his wardrobe but like, pi Pilots Are Us? Like, he looks like... <laughs> what... what? A child thinks a pilot should look like, you know, like... I get the, I get the feeling he's only watched one film and it has Tom Cruise in it. And he plays volleyball. How's we guess which one I'm talking about? I know. Cocktail. Great guy. One of the best pilots I ever saw. Yeah, I still miss him. Can I get a coffee? Let me get the package. Yeah. Black. Like my soul. <laughs> Is he in like porridge? I mean, top marks I if he's eating porridge, because I don't think I've ever seen that in a... In an American deli. It's just like... Yeah. Really upset me hey, hey, train, you want like a breakfast? Porridge! That makes it even better if he goes in as a grizzled veteran. What do you have? I'll, I'll take a porridge. And a glass of milk, please. Oh, no! Flashback. Okay, so his plane's fucked. No, that was actually his dad, I believe. It's the flashback. Oh, sorry. Yes. There he is. Look, can you not tell from the mullet? Father screaming as he burned alive. Or is that the mother crying? 
<laughs> She's an ugly crier. <laughs> oh, I, I genuinely didn't know. Was that the father screaming while he was being burnt alive, or was that the fucking mother crying in a weird Everything slow motion? My died. My mother cried as if she was on fire. <laughs> I have no idea why. Because that changes it from being, wow, that's dark, to... Somebody taking your plane? Mm. Not so bad. Yes. What the hell? Okay, the plane is moving itself. Oh my god, I called it in the first five seconds that it Don't was going to take off on its own and crash. <laughs> okay, so far, it could literally just be somebody fucking nabbed his plane. Like, hey, yes, yeah, so, so it actually was Iron Brew. Uh, some crazy Scotsman on holiday goes, hey, Yeah, Ron, yeah, Declan, look, I can land this fucking plane. Hey, Ron, Whoa! Hey, oh, I fucking Ron, hammered some. Yes, these are the two men that'll save the day Mullet Man and Diner Man. Take my breath out! Well, there's clearly somebody in there. It's a cameraman. Yes, that's play? oil. Go on, taste <laughs> it. <laughs> it's not oil, it's a changeling. God damn it. Don't put it in your hair. It's greasy enough. <laughs> oh, he's running a message. You ain't gonna pull out of that. Oh my God, is that going to be what happens where like the message was written in the sky because it was leaking oil? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, ghost crash. I literally called it in the first five seconds, and I'm fucking shocked <laughs> that I called, I called that can the just, plane... Can we just appreciate the stock footage, at least once? The plane was going to take off on its yeah. own and crash. I called the whole thing, and I think, by default, I should be awarded the episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how this works. But, but the thing is, like, I, what I love about that in particular is the fact that, like, they have stock footage of a plane crashing. And then what they did was they got a replica of that plane of pla to, to emulate fit in the, around the stock, stock footage. I just like, when I was watching that initially, I was going like, that is, this is why I love the show, because it's yeah. fucking cheap as shit. Get away from that, why don't you just grab his the Because well, there's I was the, about the... to ask, why the fuck was he going up to a flammable wreckage that is very clearly going to explode in a second. Yes. How could a plane fly itself? Did Michael leave his engine running with Did it though? An automatic Look at the hand in the pocket. Look how so, smug he is here. Out of those pilot wings. Like he knows all this. Ah. Wings that Michael had misplaced years ago. Were they suddenly jarred loose from some crevice of the plane by the crash? Or is the explanation more I'm going to say bullshit. Maybe Michael's father's spirit I'm not sure did take one. the controls to save his son. I know, like, it could be, Good you know, somebody got in, decide. took the plane, really and then happened. fucking was, was obliterated in the crash. You know, like, so you don't it's see bits of them at all. Or indeed, they jump um, out at the last second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but also, like, everything else is like, this piece of jewellery, not jewellery, but the, the wings yes, appeared the, after he had lost them idea, for years. Uh, it's just... The United States who keeps a gun in your home. Now don't bear, bear in mind, like, Contrivance is this show's middle name, so... Yeah, like, that's true, too. And how they, like, overly dramatic, dramatize everything. We get to look at Jonathan Frakes' box. Along with bullets, registration papers, and a manual. No word of a lie, I was happy to have a phaser to be in that box, and I'm slightly disappointed it wasn't. Uh, imagine that as an Easter egg, that would be brilliant. It's like, it's, just, it's like hidden under the coat or something, it's just like, what the hell is this doing here? Anyway. I reckon this is his hangover episode. I reckon, he, I reckon he's dressed like like that, he didn't do the hair because he just trundled into the studio like, oh fuck. What a fucking <laughs> exactly. night. Later, he looks like that because he's been up all night watching mysteries, going like, yeah. I'm down the freight, you have no idea what I've just seen. <laughs> right, plain. It's like, it got set up by itself. First and fucking there, necklaces. Across the street. And then, I keep seeing premonitions of a psychic horse, I have no idea what it means. <laughs> didn't feel quite as secure who the fuck has a six shooter? Rankers? Legitimately, like, who has a six shooter? He even Cowboys? Out to a shooting range so that he could make sure it was working properly. But as for me, 
I wasn't as Can you stop, like, I molesting was. the gun and just fucking fact, shoot it, please? I wasn't sure I'd ever be able to pull the trigger. Boy, if that were me, uh, I mean, if I'd seen that guy He in killed him. House, you know, I am so sorry I wasn't here. Mullet man! Skullet man! Oh, it's a skullet. That is a beautiful skullet. That's his... The top of his head is like... It's it's like... It's like smoke. Yeah. It's wispy. Beautiful, wispy, baldy hair. But he doesn't want to accept it. So he's no. just grown the rest out. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's be fair. The skullet is like denial in a haircut, isn't it? Like... Oh, yeah. Or like a widow's like, peak mohawk. I can grow my hair long. I can grow my hair long. Well, can you? <laughs> oh, jeez. It's awful from this angle. Why? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you don't just point the camera down a bit, maybe. In Not theory, show the fucking crow's nest, like. In theory, you can grow your hair long. But a lot of things work in theory. Communism works in theory. You know, like, you know? well, even, sure even she took a glance at that. Oh, Tom. And just like, it, mm -hmm. I'll just end up shooting myself, I know it. No, this yeah, gun only stop. shoots bad people. Like, just do something about that. Your Fuck you? me, they're I'm literally doing a Chekhov's gun here. Well. It's like, I literally gonna shoot myself. <laughs> Doubting housewife. This piece, I... I shoot myself, or shoot you, or I you shoot me. I mean, I don't even How are we gonna do this? <laughs> I love as well that like this is an episode featuring the nearly the, the nearly actors. Like the guy on the right nearly looks like Kelsey Grammer, and the one on the left looks say. nearly like Lois from Malcolm in the Middle. They're like the little alternatives. We had nearly Tom Cruise in the start. That's true, yeah. Oh yeah, I hit the target barely. That's nearly a fashion sense. You will get better. Sure. When? I hope to God you never have to use this gun, but if you do, you'll know how to handle it. And brother, what are you going to do when a burglar comes in and starts shooting on you? As far as I know, and I'm no my gun mind, expert, my anxiety and you just point at the thing you want dead and it'll be dead. <laughs> we also have to pull the trigger, remember that. Yeah, yeah it, does, I mean, it doesn't look just like tag your it. Like you do actually have to fire the gun, Dennis. Listen, I live in Ireland. Right, <laughs> you live in the country. Go hunting, lads. <laughs> Find a pheasant and make it your friend. Oh, I'd have a harder time killing an animal than I would fucking killing a human. Oh yeah, to be fair, I, I don't I like. Mean. I generally don't like people. I like animals. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know you don't like animals, but I still wouldn't go that far. Oh, she's been hypnotized by the gun. Sexy, sexy gun. Right, so, um, about pointing guns. <laughs> no? Okay, again, I've never used a gun, and even I know you don't walk around with your finger on the fucking trigger. But not <laughs> elbow you know, like... straight like that, because once you hit recall, bleh, there, that's not gonna work. You will literally, like, fucking hit yourself by, like, having your... I suppose, like, she's actually quite acting quite well in that regard. And I think the closest thing. I've got to fucking guns is, like, Quasar. Remember Quasar? Was that in Blanchardstown? Yeah. No. No. I knew I had a memory of Blanchardstown somewhere in my head. Ah, oh. oh, what? Oh. That's possible, though. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, fuck off. <laughs> that she was dreaming about guns? Absolutely. Americans dream about guns all the time, Dennis. Oh. I was more saying, do. no, I was more angry that it wasn't actually happening because I was like, okay, this makes logical sense. You, your gun can misfire. Especially a six shooter, well, which are like, like very them. much like typically oh, unreliable always made yeah. this guy yeah like they like, like the this set stuck years i mean ago. yeah even even when this was made like i mean i, I would consider with a six shooter not it's more about like aesthetics than it is about usefulness <laughs> See, it's like metal, metal gear solid tree it's just like that's more of a revolver yeah, technique right stop being an yeah. arsehole no yeah <laughs> Everyone wants to be dirty, Harry. Maybe I should cancel my. Yeah, yeah. The engraving yeah. has no tactical advantage. So I have to deal with this, and you definitely have to work. So, he'll be alright. At least I won't be bored for the next eighteen hours. <laughs> Man, just shave your head. Fucking hell. A few days later, Tom had to. Leave like, if town. you're going to try and. And I was destined to Do you know what I want to look like? I want to look like the creepiest motherfucker again. in the world. Then. That hairstyle's for you. It wasn't a dream. You're forgetting that this is probably like in the middle of America, where like those thoughts don't come across their minds. 
okay, so now we're going to see she dreamt about it, and now it's going to happen. Deja yes. vu. I'm, you know, if this is as far as we go, I'd be inclined to say true because it's very easy to mm -hmm. also bullshit and say I dreamt it would happen. She had a premonition. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Shoot the burglar. Like, you yes. sound like the fucking count from Sesame Street. <laughs> One. One. Ah, 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 two. Ah, ah. <laughs> three. Ah, 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 ah. Foxy, for the love of God, add it to your list of spots you have to do. Halloween show, you dress up as the count from Sesame Street. And you take your sweet ass time with a pinfall. Ah. Uh... Don't tell remember Gorgeous. when you dressed up as a blind do man? <laughs> do you remember that? No! Oh. Stop pulling the trigger! You can clearly see it's him! Why are you still pulling the trigger? You try you try to shoot your son twelve times. <laughs> see, oh. where, like at about and six of those. About six of those. Oh, oh, oh. Bang. It's going to shoot her. Oh, they have lots of time to look at it, though. That's two. Three. Well, you say, you say that, Foxy, but that's a, just a flashbang effect. <laughs> oh, come on! Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck off! No! 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 Oh, I was no. about to say it was true! It, it just so happened that the third shot Bob shot an IRA man who was invading the house at the time. Do you know what? Ironically, a genuine intruder had already broken into the house too. Knowing Dennis, how they Dennis. like to finagle the truth, I'm going to say that's true. Because I reckon they just shot a guy and then made up all this bullshit. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I I tried to shoot my son twelve. No, I did not try to shoot. I dreamt that part. Yes, I did. I dreamt of shooting my son. A painter possesses a mysterious secret power on beyond belief. They always do that. They always do it where I think it's going to be something logical. And I'm like, oh, well, a gun can miss fire. And then at the very last second, they throw in fucking shenanigans. <laughs> Every time. That motherfucker shot 18 times with a fucking revolver. And not once did he reload. Where did he get this ammo? Have you, have you played true crime shoot for Foxy? <laughs> Jonathan Frakes, you're a leech. That would actually pose the question. Does art imitate life? Now I don't know what to think about that last one. Art is an elusive. Because you see about how to present it, like she's still shooting when she clearly saw it was her son. It's like, why won't you die? I just want you dead. All in an effort to describe. Ah, James Morrison. For renowned landscape artist William Corzine, his foray into oh, that twenty. And more importantly, Kimberly Bailey. Never knew he had. No, I actually know this guy. This one, he the painter. I think he's in twenty-four. This is the story I don't believe you. Seems to be Nobody from this show went on to have any kind of career. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> this one, this one rings a bell. I know, I know this guy. Subjects. When you hear his voice, you recognize him. I mean, look, there's one thing we know: there's no other famous James Morrison. All right. Definitely. Was this going to be like the portrait of Dorian Gray kind of thing? He's actually, he's actually H.P. Lovecraft before he got famous and just like trapped the souls of people in paintings. I mean, she's pretty old to be starting the portrait, isn't she? Mm. Wasn't the whole Dorian Gray thing was he was young when it was done, so that's what got yeah. old, not him? Yeah. Unless it was like some sort of Dorian Gray slash Benjamin Button hybrid. Yeah, I was about to say, what about a reverse fucking, like, Dorian Gray? Like, instead I of getting you, I, older, she gets younger. I bet you you've nailed it. Or I bet you the painting's going to get younger. Or something fucky. I'd... Never picked up her finished portrait. Amy, what if it's wrong? She never picked it up. It's not wrong. So is everybody he's painting dying? You have a special gift. Could be that. Yes. Seems that way. 
so did his reputation. His yes, I was right, by the way. By James Morrison is in 24. He's uh, Bill Buchanan. Who all had one thing in common. They were all dying. Mm hmm. So. Don't stop. I keep painting. Good news, Daniel. But what's. The... Oh, is he curing them? Is that what it's going to say? It's kind of like Dorian Gray. It's taking their illnesses. I think you'll be pleased. Thank Let's you. see. I fucking guarantee you, because your one said you have a gift. You've been chosen. To all his subjects, chosen one. Their last hope to halt the endless days of suffering, agony, yep. and pain. Hi. Yep. Can I help you? Um, well, I would like you to paint my portrait. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a private studio. I know. Look, I, I don't have a lot of money. I can't afford to pay you much, but I really need you to paint my portrait. It's not about money. I'm just very selective about who I paint. I am disgruntled. Mrs. I do exclusively nudes. Would help me. <laughs> And not Dude, just any nudes. Shoes no, no, no. Couch. I do bird nudes. That's right. I pluck birds and, and paint them. Painting her as fast as <laughs> could. They call me the Phantom Character. <laughs> <laughs> William was determined to end the painful torment of this afflicted young lady who had come to him in her moment of need. But she wasn't sick, and now she's going to get sick. Because he. Ah, I'm fucking on ah, you, Frank. Okay, she may not be sick, but maybe there's another reason she wants to get her portraits. Because she wants to be sick. Possibly. Finished. Your portrait is done. Should he not ask for, like, a medical cert or something before <laughs> he paints <Maybe>. them? <laughs> Good, it's just, it's overwhelming. I didn't expect it to be... I don't like powerful. it. ...powerful. When can I take home? You can take delivery on Wednesday. Michelle's portrait would be one of his most satisfying. But it set off a chain of events that would tear his world. Okay, Jonathan. William Corzine? Mm -hmm. Yes, how can I help you? It's about Michelle Taylor. What about her? She's dead. I want to ask you a couple of questions. And you painted her, you bastards! <laughs> what? <laughs> Show me your papers. <laughs> he learned he was the last to see her alive. Michelle had died under you sounded Eastern mysterious. European air. Show me your papers. Show me your papers. <laughs> <laughs> about her and Lord, please. Surrounding her death. What a game. Lord, His mind raced with a thousand thoughts. How could he have... I watched Trudeau, by the way, John. Oh, yeah? Yeah, your playthrough of uh, Papers, Please. Oh, hey, man, thank you. I'm surprised someone what was watching that. <laughs> I love that game. That's a great yeah, little game. Yeah, yeah brilliant. Dead. But isn't that why you drew her portrait? Amy, she wasn't sick. Broken Sword next. You need to play through all the Broken Sword games. It's on the list because it's one of my favorite games ever made. Good man. We're waiting. We're see, waiting to do it live. We're see, I live. get, I get you, Jonathan. I get you. <laughs> Me and you, baby. Me and you. <laughs> I respect you, Booker man. Fuck <laughs> off, Foxy. You don't understand us. <laughs> we bonded Fun. over Shadow of oh. Destiny, and it's just. It's going from there. I would not call that bonding. <laughs> <laughs> William had one. Look at what you say. That's a brilliant game. Fuck you, <laughs> right? Painting day and night. It Again, it's on the list for a reason, Dennis. <laughs> it's in the it's in the cup for a reason. William's finest effort to date. Now, so you know, so the, you see the gimmick he's been doing here, right? Where like whenever he like draws a portrait of someone there. They die soon after, and this girl in particular the wasn't morning. ill. An autopsy revealed that he died. Of a she she wanted to kill herself. He was killed herself, yes. To escape and then he did a self-portrait of himself, and seemingly, an so died. logical. It could be just they were all. The obvious thing is they were all dying. Yes. So they could have just died, 
Mm. Yes. Um, he could have just killed himself. Yeah. And likewise, she could have just killed herself. But to say it's all the paintings. Uh, I don't think it's such as a, I don't think it's a painting as such. I think it's a circumstance. The fact that this guy was doing was providing a service for people to uh, have a portrait of themselves before he died. But one thing they were very specific about was saying that none of the people were actually getting the painting. No, and he was supplying them within a few days it seemed because he was saying yeah. i'll have it delivered by wednesday this story of an artist right? yeah. inspired by so family, their family were getting the portraits not it would down. be really strange well no he kept them because they're in his room two boys mm. explore the True, yeah. so doors of a hospital basically beyond belief while it's a it's a it's a logical premise to a degree no, it's also they all wouldn't die within the Everybody fucking few it. days Yet they're only issued to a true, mm -hmm. true. People like, will pay thousands. It could be like underlying conditions that like, events, rock concerts, we don't know. Conferences. But like, well, they're clearly all the terminal. Audience. They're all terminal. Yeah, like that's terminal, why they go yeah. to them. They're all dying. Only the most yeah. qualified professional personnel. And like I said, it could be this kind of weird thing where like he's just doing an exhibit of people before, like days before they died or whatever it was, and like that's them at their at their like the most radiant or something. And then he just killed himself. Yes. First time I, met, I think I'm going to have to just, at the time, I'm going to have to go with my gut on it. I'm not going to say it now. I'm just yeah, going to, yeah, yeah. when it comes to time, I'm going to go with my gut because it's and that one is one of the ones died. that could go either way. They had him mm. taking tests I will, I will admit, like, there's some doozies in the second wrong. season. I will say that. I found out later, yeah. Even watching back at these now, I'm just going, oh, these are pretty good. So, like, they're just like nice, good, good premises. Just like me. Mm. Very, very bored. Oh, that's Tommy. Too late. I would take that remote off and... Will you knock it off? Yeah. You're driving me nuts. 99 channels and nothing on. I could turn it off for fucking that, hour. That hair yeah. really dates this show. I was about to say, <laughs> yeah, from the even the the level of frosted tips, like <laughs> that's even that's even tip. That's just frosted. All oh, stop. Dad, being at your work here and all, how about checking me out? It's a young guy, Fieri. You're not yes. any. <laughs> You're not any self-respecting teen unless you have frosted sure tips. We just have to run a couple more tests. Oh look, I did it. I think everybody did it at some point. I gotta go pick up your mom and the Fox, you don't even bother shaking your fucking head. You have blue hair right now. Exactly. Right? Like, you fuck off. You, <laughs> can't fucking talk like. Later, you cannot fucking talk here. Later. I didn't have fucking frosted <laughs> tips. I wouldn't frost my chips. <laughs> blue oh, hair. Why would I do that? <laughs> you guys are <laughs> hair now. Yeah. Hey, am I right, guys? Like, I didn't do it when I was a teenager. I wait till I was in my fucking torties to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the midlife crisis. Okay, now that makes sense. Gotcha. Yeah. To be fair. If that's the worst thing he gets for a midlife crisis, that's that's pretty good. He'll buy a Porsche in five years. Dad's not gonna need it tonight. Let's go out and have a look. I have this he's image. He's got a slow of, burn midlife crisis. He's not staying here all night watching. Fucking Foxy pulling up in Tala in a fucking Lamborghini. <laughs> He'll be pulling, pulling into Tala in Lamborghini. He will not be coming out of Tala with Lamborghini. <laughs> Lamborghini be fucking stolen and born down. Absolutely. Relax. Time for another diners, drive-ins, and dives. It'd basically be like fucking uh, Homer Simpson. I don't know when they have the movie crew. It's like, why don't you take a piece from our deli, like deli truck? Shoo! Ah, uh, Mr. Simpson. Mr. Simpson. <laughs> so this is two little shits being two little shits. So yeah. Two two complete geeks like in, like sneak into the morgue of a hospital. Who aren't supervised. No. In a I mean, hospital. But it's still, it is to a degree believable. Yeah. Because. What are you doing? Are you nuts? Because teenagers are fucking awful. Like, so, like. That's it. I'm going back. Somebody's coming. Oh, the automatic door has stopped working. Holy shit, are they gonna open the the, the bag and it's gonna be them in it or something fucking weird? Dude, dude, dude. 
I would not be surprised if that's the there case. There are ghosts all along. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Or what if it's not both of them, it's just one. Oh. I good. call Frosted Tips guy is actually is dead. Oh, you think he's a fucking pile of dirt? What's going on? on? I don't know. Did he just said the ghost is clear. The ghost is clear. No, no, no. I think he said ghost. I, don't I think know. I think no, the plot line has been revealed. I think it was one of those one of those Jonathan little hidden <laughs> Easter eggs. No, because like, I did not I did not have a part in create producing this show. Just to confirm. Because the other lad, like, for some reason the the all Mac doors, they didn't open for him. That's true. It's a fair point. Definitely ghost. It's, it's, gonna hard, it's gonna be him. It's gonna be him. It's gonna be him. It's gonna be him. It's him. Bart sells a soul. Eddie, it's you. Bart sells a soul, and he can't go into the quickie mark. Yes. yes. It's him. Wow. Put some feeling in your scream. Came too. I didn't see Eddie. But He's I doing his best the Macaulay Culkin impression. Dr. Anderson yeah. Losing two sons, both Eddie and Chad, in one night. What happened? Oh, a real tragedy. Dr. Anderson and his family were in a car accident last night. Oh, the one called Chad lived? The other son, Chad, died oh, you poor family. woman. So, <laughs> well, after the accident, they They're taking Chad's bets to see who, who'd survive. He saw it last night and his heart gave out. Oh, well, who can blame him? They were identical twins, you know. They were in their hole. What? Right, so, <laughs> yeah. So the story there is that the doctor, like, forget. doctor only had a car crash, or right? Terrible one night. son died in the crash. The other one, like, lost his memory and was being, like, coaxed out of it. And then suddenly and saw his identical brother, freaked out, heart attack, morgue, also died. He might still be alive today. So is he Father dead now, too? To yeah, both of them died. And lovingly tell him of his brother's death. Instead... Do you know, I'd actually say true. Without all that extra bullshit, I'd say it was a crash. That is quite a call, Dennis Cutter Murphy of Sound, Mind and Body. I, I'd say it was a crash. Your man was hurt and he had fucking death throws, synapses firing in his head and he saw his... Also, wait, hold on. Next. No, it's false. Where would they get the fucking story? Where would they know? Oh, he must have saw his brother dying <laughs> if he's well, dead. there is a witness to it. The other guy was there. If it's true, the, other guy. the second person that brought in, brought him in, that was a real person. That wasn't a ghost. That was a real person. No, in the fucking, who would have known they went to the morgue and that he saw his, his ghost brother and that he fucking, it gave him a heart attack. And shock he saw his dead brother. They call the guy, Frosty radio. Tips guy. Yeah. The story. Of a democratic Wait, he's alive. Between a talk show yes. Host and his listeners. He lives. He just got, he just like fainted. Okay, the other that guy changed my thing. I actually switch. thought, that's what I was saying. I thought he was dead now lived. too. But what happens yes. when that balance of power becomes unbalanced? I thought when he was dead now too. Okay. Mm. Hello, Commissioner. Is it still good radio? <laughs> Jonathan Frakes telling the heartwarming story of WWR. Oh, fucking ads. <laughs> Hold on for me for three seconds. Okay, 32, 30, 33, 20. Of course, two ads. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah, you, might get, you might as well get your fill, lads. What did you say? 33, uh, 30? 30, 33, 20, yeah. 20. 33, okay. 20, yeah. Paused. 33, 20. On the name <laughs> Kevin Meany. 33, 20. Uh, yeah. So, we good? Uh, Dennis, yeah, kind of same, lads. Three, two, one, go. There were plans of syndicating it across Kevin the Meany. I Kevin really Meany. need to put ad block on this fucking thing again. That looks like a GAA club. Like it actually does. It really it? does, doesn't it? Is that what we're going for a show back, is it? Only as numbers. And with enough numbers, I would not be surprised. And he would get more famous. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a high enough roof to do spots on. Ish. Just don't go with that side of the no, From one side, yes. Yes. Pal. You haven't got a clue. You're brainless. You could sell space between well, I like this guy. He has the Trump hands. It's like I gotta do the Trump. I'm doing the Trump hands before they're popular, okay? Because I'm a shock jock and that's what we do over here, okay? Tiny penis. Next caller. All I'm saying, I would He's doing that pursed mouth nasally talk too. Okay, lightning strike. Ricardo, whatever drugs you're on, why don't you up the dosage? I just want to make sure I'm talking to Clive Kincaid. <laughs> They're out there. They are out there. Let's go to line three. Yeah, 
Hey, what's your question? My question's about your son, Robbie Griffin. What did you say? Robbie Griffin, remember him? Yeah, time to wave back. Sonny boy. Psychos are out But there she's going to be on the snutter line. We'll be back. So stay tuned and don't touch that dial. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Was that an A track? It was an A track. You should know, Dennis. Clive, we got a slight technical problem. I've worked in radio, not with fucking A tracks. Jesus Christ. Have <laughs> you, you worked with an asshole like this and guy? I don't want you to put those wackos through to me anymore. I will neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> <laughs> I will not self incriminate. Voice of God, it is the gift. I, I, I'm not, by the way, as someone who like is doing like some graphics with the channel, I love the poster background that is just so generic. Kincaid all night. Picture. Faded background. Text. Literally five minutes. Wait, what was that? I felt. What? What was it not? Apparently, it's just, apparently whatever foot fortune Clive could be Kincaid got wasn't really Kincaid much of a fortune. All night. It's me again. Hey, only one yeah. call per wacko per night. Wave bye bye, pal. She's gonna be on every line. Okay, we get this. You don't need to keep <laughs> fucking drilling it in. <laughs> Come on. Next caller, Kincaid all night. What do you want? Oh, they can't hear him. He's having a mental breakdown. You remember Robbie Griffin? Yes, I remember Robbie Griffin. But if you think you're gonna take some name from the past and screw with me, you've got another thing coming. Wait, bye bye. It seems like he could Kate be like night. Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> yeah. Want, you can't get rid of me. Oh. I don't get this. I can't hear anybody but Kincaid. Something is seriously wrong here. So why would nobody just go into the studio? Okay, let's deal with this, all right? Where he can clearly yeah. hear it. I've always been on He can hear he's hearing them, but they can't. Like there is the producer yeah, they can't so, hear. So why does not don't they go into the studio? I don't know. First the first thing you do is go into the studio, grab his headphones and see. Mm. Uh, they can hear him, but they can't hear the caller, okay. Yes. No. I went to see him once. I was going through Fort Wayne again. So I looked him up. I found him. I drove over to where he lived. And there he was, tossing a tennis ball up against the wall. I wanted to get out and meet him. Hmm. I lost my nerve. You left out a part. I had a baseball glove. Who is this? It's me, Dad. It's Robbie. Robbie is dead. He died last summer! This is freaky, man. Who the hell is Robbie? I don't know, but we gotta get him out of there. Five. Now? You're only realizing Eight. now? Five. I mean, ratings. Five, unlock the door. Ahem. <clears throat> No, look, it's a mitten. It all makes sense. You see, it could be what Jonathan said. It could just be a guy having a literal mental breakdown. Oh, totally. Like, like again, John, the, the, the hint for me was that like it was like 4.40 a.m. So like this guy is literally going through the entire night insulting Clive. people. And eventually just that brain's gone. Nope. Now what you want? Why don't you leave me alone? Like, and it's the fact that they can't hear anybody else. Uh, that's like... Yeah. Phone lines don't work like that. Like, you can't... Unless their headphones weren't working. That's the thing, yeah. He's losing it. Oh, I see now. It actually wasn't the time at all. Look, it's the... It's the, count, it's the countdown. And the controls aren't working. It's okay, Dad. You messed up. You dead. My son is dead. I want to talk to you, Dad. Shut up. Shut Although I feel this would have been more publicized. Well, if it's only local radio and there's only like a small you'd viewership. still hear about it somewhere, like in in the annals, like about story of this fucking radio jock who had a breakdown live on air. Maybe it's broadcast, like it you know. I feel I would have come across that somewhere. Yeah. 
Was it really the spirit of the Who was the voice of the Muslim 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 Answer me now. Who was the voice Something unusual. I feel I would have come across that that audio somewhere. the utility lines outside the studio. Who would have played on the channel right now? Calls at all were made from that point on. Mysterious calls. Do you know what? I'm gonna go with my gut on that. I may be wrong, but I'm gonna say bullshit because I think I would have heard it. Curious. Okay. I love that you're using your radio knowledge here to answer that. No, it's my fucked up knowledge of the type of shit that I listen to online. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to bad radio on the weekends. When I was working, when I was working at the time, I used to listen to, to radio-based creepy classes, and it just really made me upset about. Because no, well, there was actually this thing I watched not that long ago on YouTube, where it was about um, it was people who uh, had died on live television. Ah, uh, yeah. And one of them was like this this news presenter who took off by itself. very casually just blew her brains out live on air. Um, oh, yeah, I know, I know of that one, yeah. Fuck. But like... Um, oh, here we go. So the plane first of all. Okay, plane Foxy, first. Foxy? I'm gonna say true. Then. Just to shake it up, I could go either way, I'll say bullshit. Okay. To shake it up a bit. Because I could go either way on it. All right. So we're, we have a split room already. Oh no. They're using the shit out of that stock footage. Mm -hmm. Was this story inspired by an actual event? Yes. A similar event. Hey! Woo! Foxy's Foxy. still going. <laughs> Even he's like, what? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. How did you judge this one? I'm going to say true for this one. Like, oh, I just reckon they shot a guy and made yeah. up a story. I'm going to say true because, like, it's... Without all the fluff. Okay. Yeah. Without all the fluff, yes. She shot a person. Um, just someone. Yeah, I think I think somebody broke into the house. It's even possible that she could be that she saved pointed the, the gun at her son accidentally, and never fired her. True. Yes. Ooh. Okay. And now the artist who won that hold the power of life and death in his hands. Was it reality based or false? No. So the death portrait. What do you hmm. think? I keep second my oh, guess of myself on this one, so I'm going... Do you want to guess first on this one, Foxy, or will I? Uh, out of pure circumstance, I'm going to say true. I can't afford to pay you much. I'm leaning to bullshit. Okay. I, I keep second guessing myself on it. You know what I mean? And there's certain... There's this and one other that I'm just going to have to go with my gut on. Okay. And this is one of them. I'm just going to have to... I'm going to say bullshit. If you guessed that there was an actual recorded happening of an artist that seemed to have this power, you were right. There was. Ah, fuck! <laughs> oh, Foxy! 3-1! What about Stupid the gut. The boys who lifted the hospital pass and used it to explore the moor? <laughs> now, the, the, double, the, the, the double twin death. What do we think? Relax. Twin oh. brothers dying on the same night. Well, I mean, that's possible. It's the rest like, of it. Too much. One fight yeah. the other, as it were. I'm gonna say bollocks. Yes. I'm gonna say bollocks too. Right. Just, you seem happy enough with this one. Eddie, it's you. Just because a point was made is how the fuck did he get down into the goddamn morgue undetected? Oh, yeah. This tale of a young man who confronted the dead corpse. That was the worst faint I ever seen. And died himself. Oh. Pure fiction. Yeah, Foxy's still oh. going. Okay, now, now the important part is to stick the landing. Talk show host who was haunted by a phone call. From I'm just like the plane. Right away, I'm going false. Right. For no other Dennis reason, Warford. don't use me as a guide, Foxy. I'm using it as I think I would have heard or read about it somewhere. He died last summer. Because it's broadcast. Yeah. They didn't I'll, say it wasn't broadcast. I'll say it's bollocks. Okay. This is for Clive. six in a row, Foxy. Clive, unlock the door. <laughs> Fucking pressure, man. God damn it. Now, don't use me as a guide. Don't blame me, right? Is there 
<laughs> I don't think I blame you. The confrontation on. Not this time. It never happened. Yeah! And he did it. <laughs> never in doubt. It was never in doubt. <laughs> never in doubt. <laughs> he can't do this anymore. He can't do this anymore. It's too much. <laughs> and the best part of this is it's going to get progressively worse as he yeah. keeps getting more right. <laughs> yeah. No, the best part about this is that he's on a race. It's going to get to the point where he's at. How many does Amy have again? At 15. It's going to get to the point where Foxy has 14 and he'll fuck it up then and only then. <laughs> 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 It depends, yeah. It depends on how far we go, like, because... And yeah. then I reckon we'll just see Foxy's camera turn off and we won't hear from him for a day or two. <laughs> like, you know, like, like, I, I, well, Amy, what a sad little life you live. I hope you come, enjoy the money. Yeah, he'll come we'll, he, He'll come back and his entire room there will just be blank walls. He'll have to ripping it all down. <laughs> see all this, like, streak and all that? Never happened. I'm John the Frank. <laughs> <laughs> So, it folks, quite, that brings yeah. to an end another episode of uh, Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction. Foxy still on a rampage, six in a row, trying to catch up to Amy's 15 in a row so mm. we can have a proper uh, face-off war. between two giants. Um, as you can see there, look at Foxy's passion as he yawns. Um, <laughs> it's It's been so exhaustive trying to decipher the truth from all these uh, stories you know it's my just... brain can't handle it and it is only going to keep getting better so look if you like what you saw please click like down below subscribe to the channel we have lots of stuff on nerds or us from comic books interviews with wrestlers other people loads and loads of good stuff lots of shows featuring lots of different people and um, if you like one of us if you hate one of us we there's shows where one of us won't be on, so you'll be fine, you know? <laughs> like, you, know <laughs> I, you were doing so well with that outro, and then suddenly, if you like one of us, well done. If you don't like one of us, eat a dick. Yeah, fuck that's, off, that's, basically. That's what we have to say, right? You'll find Deal a show it. somewhere where, like, Foxy <laughs> isn't there, in the foot for or that I'm not there, or something, you know? You'll find something. That was brilliant. No, that was so <laughs> good. You, were, you had a fucking full steam ahead, and then you suddenly found a raccoon on the tracks. Oh, shit! <laughs> 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 so folks thank you very much for joining us and uh, we'll see you next time for some more Beyond Belief Fact or Fiction bye He's end the recording dickhead <laughs> <laughs> Foxy's doing a freeze frame he's doing a freeze frame you have to end the recording or he'll die <laughs> <laughs> he's, the thing with freeze frames Foxy is that you can breathe at the same time you know that? no do you, do you know what you do at the end of this now? You just zoom in slowly on him while playing Simple Minds. Don't you forget about me. Okay. <laughs> like, you know,